Yes! Yes! It is a campfire. You know, it's a very special campfire. Welcome back to Beast Mode Valley. It's me. It's BG. Mr. Brian. And all, the, all kinds of games. Always happening. And you know, it's one of my favorite kinds of games because we're going to be talking about Four Roses today. And this is a special, this is a special event. We're having two campfires today. First one, we're going to talk about uh, all things Four Roses. And for that one, I have a very special guest. Chris Linger. Chris, you want to come on in? Come on in, Chris. Hi, this is my best friend, Chris. <laughs> How's it going, brother? Hey, BG. It's going well. It's going well. Okay, good. So, so I mean, I've been talking to people, and, well, not talking to people, but talking to people on YouTube and saying, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, I've been wanting to get you on, and I got you on for the, uh, the cross-training one that we did. Yeah, the yeah. The Youth American Grand Prix. I may even both... still be sore from that, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, it was good. Beast was mode. Good. Uh -huh, Beast exactly. mode. That's how it's done. Uh, right. so, so, but you know, that, that's why we got to treat ourselves. We got to exactly. treat ourselves the only exactly. way that we know to treat ourselves, and that's with fine whiskey, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. fine tequila. That's a whole other thing. We'll get into that at another point. Maybe we'll oh, try yeah, to get that, that could be another one. That could be another one. No, of these. Well, Let's I not mean, get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but no, not yet. Not yet. You got to slimmer down, BG. We got to be sensible. We're doing a tasting. It's classy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, so the goal is, last time I just kind of went and bantered on about, about uh, Evan Williams, and I went through four okay. different bourbons, and we Ooh, did. And, uh, so, yeah, and it, it, I talked to people about how to do a tasting. We already know how to do a tasting, so we're going to dive right into it. We may... Um, just drink uh, it. <laughs> I mean, we're going to drink it, we're going to sip it, uh -huh. we're going to talk about it, we're going to banter, yeah. it's going to be all the fun stuff uh -huh. that we do, you know, shenanigans. Right. Um, and and I think we've even got matching like glasses today, don't we? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what did you? You says Louisville too. Nice. Louisville. Yeah. There's, this was, I there's, got this one from you actually. Cheers. Oh, that yeah. makes sense because you're my best friend. All right. Because you're yeah La Familia. So uh -huh. all right. That's so we need to. I don't know why it's kind of mine is filthy. I don't know why. Well, it's not filthy, but it, it has like marks on it. It's okay. I'll, I'll hold it this way. <laughs> Louisville. It looks great. Unlike That's the right. other glass right. I used last time. Mm -hmm. Darn idiots. I don't like them. Okay, so okay. this is the goal. So just like what we did last time with Evan Williams, we're going to go from the bottom okay. and then we're going to go all the way up. So we're going to start out with our regular four roses. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to go on to. Classic bourbon. Yes. Four roses, small batch. Mm -hmm. Four roses, small batch. Mm -hmm. Four roses, small batch. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go into this bad boy right here. This four roses, single barrel. Yeah. Oh, I still got okay. the. Uh, yeah, like I know. Fresh, fresh out of the liquor store, so it, it makes it classy. It does. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did take the plastic off already. Did you do that as well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. So what we're going to do? We're gonna, let's get, let's dive right in. Let's go ahead and get a little little sensible pour of our right. of our four roses. Okay. First off, you know, you know, smell smell the cork. I'm just kidding. That's that's why <laughs> you don't do you don't do that with bourbon. Right. Right. No, you, you get your nose up in there. Mm -hmm. Not usually as sensible on the first pour. Whoopsie! You mm -hmm. know, because you got, yeah, mm -hmm. is, is it, yeah, how's that? That was that a looks, little more sensible, but nice color. Yeah, yes. Not quite as, Actually, uh, golden in my light. Yep. I don't yep. know about you. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, very cool. it's, um, I'm going to swirl it a little bit. Not much legs. It's a little. It's a little. Uh, it's a little light uh, on the viscosity. Right. Right. Um, but yeah, you kind of. But yeah, you right through it. But yeah, but beautifully golden. Yeah, I mm -hmm. would. I would say it's um, look wise on par with like a like a an Irish whiskey almost. Uh -huh. uh, almost. Um, almost. But, yeah. but but you know again unlike most Irish whiskeys not all Irish whiskeys but most Irish whiskeys there's like nothing there. I don't smell anything. <laughs> so here we go. This how we All right, get here dive we go. In. Down the hatch. Well, I'm smelling. I'm smelling first, but you can go. You can go for it. Mm. Okay, hold on. Hmm. There is a very smooth but spicy finish. That's what oh. I get. And smooth on the way in. Okay. There's a spicy. Uh, okay, so it's like spicy halfway through, and then it kind of has like almost a caramely finish, like aftertaste. Mmm. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Very solid. Mm. 
Mm. What's, what's the proof on this? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, 80 proof. Oh, straight on 80 proof. Yep. So, proof. so, so that means um, 40% alcohol for, for those yeah. of you who don't know. Yes. 40% alcohol. And I, I'll tell you what, cause, cause we were talking about this. Uh, a lot of the Evan Williams that I had last time didn't come off as very hot. This one's coming off a little hot, like right in the middle of the tongue, which is kind right. of surprising. No, exactly. It's right in the middle. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. But again, it's not much of a, uh, I think because of the lower proof, it's not hitting you here. It's like hitting you right in the mouth. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. I very much get the spice. It's almost like a like a cayenne pepper. I would say mm -hmm. cayenne mm -hmm. pepper. Um, like that. Yeah. Uh, and it's yeah, like a very, very solid. This one's very drinkable. Um, you know, very. I mean, it's all uh, very drinkable. It's, oh well, yeah. No, but I mean, <laughs> just like, even for people that um, you know, maybe this is um, you know, bourbon's not their thing, or they haven't tried it. Oh yes, this is a great one to start with. It's not too complicated. Um, you know, we're talking and, about it in a complicated way, but you know, it's still, um, you know, one of the best, one of the staples for a reason. Oh yeah. And, well, and, and, I and, and it wouldn't hurt my, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if you wanted to mix this. Like I think this is actually, this oh, would make yeah, an excellent yeah. old fashioned, uh -huh. this would make an excellent, uh, bourbon, uh, bourbon In fact, ginger. It's, it's very commonly used for that. Maybe a yeah. higher end, you know, uh, that would be a more expensive, uh, one. But, yeah. Uh, oh, really, oh, actually, actually, I would, I would say more like a mid range. Mid range. Okay. Yeah, I, okay. I would say it's a mid range. Like even though, even though this really is middle bottom shelf, it's mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. like if you go to a, if you go to a restaurant, rip. <laughs> that that there, it's it's really like a mid range when you when you get it there. Okay. Least, that, okay. That's what I've always had it for. But yes, uh, yeah. I mm -hmm. like I said, it doesn't hurt my feelings. I would have this all the time. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we do the we did the next step. Next step. Okay. Ice cube. Oh. You got to get that ice cube in there. Get a little swirly, swirly. Oh, I wiped Just it because. out. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. I'll, oh, put a, I'll put a little more in there. I didn't put as much in there as you did. Oh, uh, okay. All right. There we go. Yeah, no. little, yeah I, I, tried to, I, tried to, I tried to do a little bit because, you know, I, I know I've been... My, my liver's been getting just as much of a workout as the rest of my muscles, so I need to, <laughs> take, <laughs> need to simmer it down a little bit. <laughs> right? Oh, my goodness. Come on. Okay. All right. Okay. You know, I'm melting a little bit too, so I get a little bit of the water effect. Yeah. The, uh, I'll tell you what. Ooh. Not, that not really much, brings again, out the spice. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, that, 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 that hits it on the, on the front end for sure. Ooh, here you go. You ready for this? Ready mm -hmm. for this? Yep. Red caramel apple. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I definitely especially agree. like That's a great, yeah. great scripture. Oh yeah. And actually, um a little bit of the uh like black licorice, just a touch, just a little right there at the middle of the tongue. That's uh, um yeah. But yeah, this is this is a fine sipping uh bourbon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the price. Can't go wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know. Are we gonna rate him? Should we rate them? I don't know. What do you, what do yeah, you think? Yeah, once we once we get to uh, okay, once we get through them, you know, we'll do. I was, uh, I was, you know, I was gonna say we could do one, two, three, and a Chris one, two, three. Well, I was gonna say we could do an initial rating of like one to five for each one, and then you know, because oh, like individually, okay. what what they're like, and then okay. we could do a one, two, three. What what would be your top one, top two, okay. top three? That's okay. Thing, you know All what right. I mean? Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. I mean, I have a feeling we'll probably be right in line with what we're, what, what, what our tastes are. Cause probably, we're, we're, probably. We're fine, <laughs> educated uh, young gentlemen that, uh, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, there we go. So, um, yes. for me, this one's, um, it's not too overly complicated, but it is very, um, you know, there's something comforting about that simplicity. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'm putting this at a solid four. You know, it's not, I'm not like blown away by it, but like, it's something I could have every day and, um, and have it, uh, you know, not hurt my feelings. Not that I would drink every single day, but you hey, know, one of those, like, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. But, yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's still, it's, um, it's one of those, it, it could be, uh, you know, you finish your day, um, kind of, kind of a thing and nice, uh, nice relaxation. So I, right. I, I, put it, I put it at a four. I, 
I, you know, I'm going to agree with you on that. I would say a, a proper two finger pour over an ice cube right after a long day. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Um, yeah, and I, I definitely agree. I like it better um, with on the uh, with one one ice cube for that one. Yeah. In comparison to because uh, um, I think just adding a little bit of the water kind of brings out some of those oils and and uh, you know chemically kind of changes it just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, it just opens it, it up. Kind of bring out it. It opens it up. Yeah, that's. What it's, it's like it's like it's like that guy that goes up ah thing. I don't even know yeah, what yeah. the name that is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And you want right. to do that pretty pretty quickly after you put it in there because otherwise it's too much water and then it just doesn't taste like anything. Yeah. So you know, um, it's just a little bit, just a little bit. Well, and even um, so, if if you're at home and you do the two finger pour, if you have the the, the globes that you can put in there, I think that would actually be better yeah. than because mm -hmm. I think these these ice cubes are just a little too porous, at least on my end. I don't know what yours, mm -hmm. but, but yeah, um, yeah. And I think the the denser it is, the better it'll sound. See, now we're getting scientific. This is this is yeah, this is we're research. Scientific. We're doing right. research here. Yeah. All right, next. next one, small batch. Small batch. All right, small batch. We're gonna, we're gonna go right up so. the hill. Yes. Yeah. No, like, I mean, so, it's a beautiful and, and bottle. Just, just for the viewers, the way this works, so small batch, what that means is they, you know, take, um, they take this from a s smaller group of barrels. Now it's like, we're also going to talk about single barrel. Now, what does that mean? All of the bottles of that particular, it came from one barrel. I think they make yeah. like 180 barrels or 180 uh, bottles per barrel or something like that. I think so. I think it's about right. Yeah. So uh, well, this, this is more select. And honestly, even so it's like getting from, you know, the generic, you know, it's like, I don't want to use that too, because they, they really are artists. But, yeah. um, you know, you've got the, the four roses entry level that we just did. You've got the small batch, smaller grouping, single yeah. barrel, very small grouping, depending on where you buy it, it may taste entirely different. Now, you know, that comes with practice, but, um, mm -hmm. but that's the concept that we're going for. So just, just a little backstory there. Well, and, and then also to be fair, even, even the, uh, the standard uh, Four Roses, what they do is they blend a bunch of the, each individual barrels to be able to get the right. exact uh, flavor profile. And then what right. they do, and the reason why it's a specific proof is that they cut it with water. That's the only way it can be right. Kentucky straight bourbon is that it has to be only blended with water. It's the only thing you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, the, exactly like, this right. is why you, this is why you don't drink Canadian whiskey because you don't mm -hmm. know what they're blending in that. Mm, it's right, also right. why you only get. Well, everybody buying. does it differently, but there's a yeah. whole lot of tradition generations of, um, you know, it is like really, really build up to, uh, yeah. you know, it's, it is a work of art. It really is. Yeah. Well, it's very similar to like tequila. That's why you only get a hundred percent agave tequila. Like oh, you yeah. can get other tequila, but you want the hundred percent. But why would you? <laughs> oh wow! All right. So wow! All right. So let's go with some yeah. four roses being poured into a sacrilege Jim Beam. Oh, you uh, can do you can do that. You can do that. <laughs> but you can only oh, you, get these when you actually go on the Bourbon Trail. Yeah. So which, you have to go, we, which go you, down to which, Jim by the way, It's the only place you can get them. You can't buy them. You have to go there, and they give you these. Yeah. Uh, when it's you so much them. fun. And I, and I want to go this summer. I'm going to keep putting it up there. That that's the thing that I'm going to do this summer. Maybe maybe we should go and do a uh, bring a GoPro or something. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we That'd go. That'd be so much fun. Mm -hmm. Beach. He does the the bourbon that, trail. Detail. And yeah. Uh, no, it's yeah. yeah, and it's. I mean, it's a beautiful bottle. Like uh, mm -hmm. the nice thing is that you. you I'm a sucker for packaging. Oh. But I can tell. But I can. But I can tell when packaging goes to over the top, mm -hmm. and this is very mm -hmm. subtle packaging. And I, I just, I really right, appreciate right. that. It, it's they do just enough to make sure that you know that you're getting a quality product, but not so much that you're like, are they compensating for something? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great All right. Let's, let's <laughs> check out. Let's check out Great the nose. Let's check, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Shots fired. Ooh. <laughs> friends don't let friends drink Grey Goose. So right. Oof. Yeah. That's Trovia. All right. So. Not much Ooh, on the nose. There it is. There, no, I, I don't know. I'm getting a lot. Man, you're getting a lot? Oh, because you're going, on, you're going on the sifter. I got a fresh one, so. Yeah. Ooh. More Actually, I'm getting, a lot, I'm getting a lot of the oak. Where, what's the proof on this one? Uh, 90 proof. 90 proof. Okay, so 90 proof. We're, yeah. we're going up in uh, horsepower. Yeah. Um, I'm excited about it. I love yeah. horsepower. 
Yeah, because yeah. that's what I was going to say. It's like this one, I can smell that it does have more horsepower. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I guess the question is that what I, what I try to push myself to do is when I have these tastings, I try to taste like, okay, what, what's, what are they trying to go forward with? You know, like, are they trying to go more rye forward, more wheat forward? Um, and, I, and you know, or, or, you know, that sort of thing. But I haven't been able to figure it out yet. So okay. This, okay. this is the goal. And I think, I feel like with this, we'll be able to figure out because it'll All punch right. you in the face. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So All right. here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So it's interesting. Wow. This one kind of comes, it comes slowly. You know, it kind of mm -hmm. hits you. Ooh, um, there it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. One, That's it, exactly it does, what I wanted. It does, it does hit you in the chest. Mm -hmm. um, it starts off Love that hug. very, very smooth. Um, and then um, you get a just almost like a spark of spice and then just warmth all the way down. And I think that comes from uh, the uh, additional horsepower. Yeah. The uh, Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go a little step further. Vanilla mm -hmm. bean at the beginning. And then it goes like, you know, whatever that spice Definitely. is that they use for pumpkin spice, that's mm -hmm. what I get in the middle yeah. of the tongue. And then, yeah. And then it gives just a beautifully gentle Kentucky hug. Mm -hmm. uh, right there. Like, as you're, as you're like, mm. oh. It's so almost, fun. you know, like this one I would love. I mean, it's kind of a rainier day today, uh, a little colder here. Yeah. You know, this, this feels like, you know, comfort. <laughs> you know, it's, it, yeah. it, it was, uh, you know, we went from like what, 70 yesterday and now it's like 48 and it's like, uh, no. <laughs> this is like warming, warming me back up, you know, so it definitely has that kind of like cold weather. You got a fire going, you know, kind of feel like it's just, that's, that's what hits me um, with this one. And I, but definitely vanilla bean to start. And then um, that um, four roses spice, um, you know, hits you at the end and just warms you up. But far more distinct this time, as opposed to mm -hmm. like, again, this is, this is the plus and minus of having the, the standard blend or as opposed to right. like small batch. No, exactly. The small batch is a little bit more pops. pronounced. Yeah. Like it pops in the beginning and then um, it kind of mellows out. This mm -hmm. one, it stays with you. It stays yeah. with you. Yeah. I, I, I would say, this is kind of like a like a break into like if you're going to if you're going to start tasting, I would say that this is this is like a good one to break into because it gives you a lot, but it doesn't give you so much that you're like I don't know what I'm thinking. Like it, it, mm -hmm. it gives you mm -hmm. very very clear flavors that you can really latch See, up onto and kind of. That's that's yeah. really great. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. you know when you're uh, getting used or starting to explore different bourbons and why. You know, it's like you see all these people just so obsessed with all these different flavors, kind of like us. But um, yeah, it, it, I mean, at least uh, I'm going to talk about gravel or to see why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. It's like, oh, no, it all tastes the same. It all tastes like wood. And it's like, no, no, there's there's a whole lot of subtlety to it. Um, but these are, are very forgiving in the beginning. Yes. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah. And just just really, really solid um, expressions. And let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and go out there and say quite affordable. Like the like the what was it? The, oh, yeah. the regular yeah. Four Roses was twenty one ninety nine here. Uh, mm -hmm. The Four Roses small batch was thirty four, and mm -hmm. then the the single barrel I think was forty one. So I mean, yeah. for for moving up the tiers, quite affordable. Still, right. uh, like th this one or even the small batch, I would take to like a Thanksgiving dinner. With yes. like, yes. with like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know, and then mm -hmm. people are like, "Oh, he brought out the good stuff." I'm like, "Yeah, right. it's good, yeah. but it's not." You know, mm -hmm. like you got to save the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. got to save for the yeah. <laughs> I my, still my have my best friends having a baby. That's when you get <laughs> out the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, so. yep. I think it's ice cube time. What do you think? Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah, okay. I, I definitely think it's ice cube time. So I have no idea where we're, where we're at in time, and I don't really care because I'm having way too much fun. Oh yeah, be, this is going to be a longer one, uh, <laughs> probably. Well, no, I, one I, actually, I, I, would, I would, I would actually venture to say that you're actually doing a very good job of keeping me on task because <laughs> you're like, let's. No, let's yeah, get yeah, no, it's like, no, we, we still have two more to go, and you know, the audience wants to know what this this tastes like. Yeah, so. they, okay. they need to know. So now, with ice, the sexy beast needs to know. They need to know. Mm -hmm. well, actually, I'm going to get a smell in there real quick before you say anything. 
Ooh, interesting. With the with the ice again, kind of similar to um, the um, Four Roses um, yellow label, um, which is the standard. Um, the ice and the and just you know a hint of water, I think, brings the spice on sooner. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, at least for me, because uh, it kind of opens it up. You know, it's again that's a concept that they um, talk about. It's like and why you add water. Um, there are different versions where they uh, they call it, um, you know, like not cold filtered or uh, barrel strength. You know, it's just like pouring it straight out. But usually you add water to kind of, you know, yeah, make it not taste like gasoline. But the... Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. You <laughs> it, set, your, it, set your breath it, on it fire. Yeah. The flavors a little bit more. Um, and, yeah. uh, you know, it, it just, it, it's a more enriching experience. However, if I were to rate this now, okay. I would say if I were to skip going ahead right to that, um, I actually prefer the small batch neat, just straight out of the bottle compared to um, opening it up because I really liked that vanilla bean in the beginning. And then mm-hmm. it was just like it was sweet and then it was warm, warm and yes. savory um, all the way towards the end. So it was it was a more satisfying experience for me personally. yeah uh so and actually I'll, I'll give you a flavor that probably doesn't sound very uh um appetizing but like balsam wood you know like you know like those little airplanes mm. that you would get with like the balsam mm-hmm. wood you like how mm-hmm. it smells it's kind of what i got yeah i don't hate it i i, I don't hate it, yeah, but, yeah. it was, but yeah it was just kind of like oh that's it um yeah. and mm-hmm. i got and i still got this i still got that like the little heat along my tongue mm-hmm. nothing mm-hmm. here but I still right. got that. So I would fully agree with you on that. So I don't think it's mm-hmm. as versatile of a, of a bourbon, but I think neat, I think it's a, it's a, uh, as a, as a, um, as a price savvy choice. I think it's one of the, one of the best ones you can have. So, oh, yeah. but the yeah. question is what, what's your rating? What would you rate it? Um, now this one, you know, is like factoring all that in there, you know, we're still doing a rating one to five. This one um, I could still do daily. It gets a little more expensive, you know, it is like as an easy one. Um, but, you know, kind of using your Thanksgiving dinner one, you know, it's just like, yeah, you know, this one I'll bust out when, you know, La Familia is around, um, you know, and, uh, you know, a semi, semi special occasion, um, you know, kind of a thing. But, uh, yeah, I put it, I'd put it at a, 4.25. Okay. Okay. So four and a quarter uh, for me, um, just because it does have a more enriching experience, um, so to speak, but still very smooth and still very straightforward, but not necessarily, you know, mind blowing. Um, and that's not, you know, in a derogatory way, it's just a, a very straightforward, simple, comforting um, kind of feeling, um, yeah. from a small batch for me. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of history. So four rows of small batch was one of the first, um, bourbons that I had when I moved to Kentucky. So, oh. so it has a special place in my heart. Okay. Oh, um, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. It, it, and I was like, Oh yeah, four rows of small batch. This is the good stuff. I'm going to have all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. And, it, and, it, and it's always, it's always treated me well. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to take it down. I'm going to go 3.75. Ooh, okay. Just, be, just because, because, okay. It could okay, be this batch. Honestly, let, let, let every me, batch me, is a little different. It could just be the batch. It could just be the batch. But yeah. uh, in my head, as a mixologist, mm-hmm. I, I, I can't depend on it being chilled. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. And every cocktail should be chilled. I'm sorry. That's just, that's just the way it is. Um, right. Whereas right. when we had the regular, the regular four roses, it mm-hmm. responded very well to the ice. So I didn't know I could make a cocktail with oh, that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now if I wanted to make I would agree with if that. I wanted to have if I wanted to have a top shelf Manhattan, I can't use a small batch. Because that because mm-hmm. at least again, this batch. I'm not mm-hmm. and again, it's still a fantastic bourbon. As you said, on on mm-hmm. meat, it was wow, that's that's uh, again, yeah. very straightforward, very tasty flavors that I had. And uh, not a lot of people are going for that vanilla bean flavor. They're going for vanilla, like vanilla extract. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I, I like that as a little bit more of a subtle vanilla. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. Uh, but 
but yeah, this is a, I mean, that's, so that's just me. That's what I'm saying. I think a 3.75, um, you know, hmm. um, I'm going to, everybody on the internet is going to hate me now and that's, <laughs> that's okay. Okay. Now give okay. me one second and then grab this towel. All right. I can, I like wipe this out. Got it. Okay. I just want to make sure that I, I'm doing my due diligence. So, and now it's time. It's time. And now it's time for the single barrel. Look at yes. that. So oh, we have yeah. the signature four roses. Now I'm just going to take a look at the label. Actually, yeah, here it's like this is like this is leather. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's uh, you know it's very very nice. Um, okay, very oh, so cool. I'm, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you right now because they've got a they got a sticker on the bottom of, of them, and mine yeah. says Warehouse R N. Okay. And barrel number twelve dash four B. What does yours say? So mine, and so this is a great example of what we were talking about earlier. Um, so BG and I may have an entirely different experience um, with yes. single barrel. That's the thing. It's always a mystery. Mine is warehouse number QW, barrel number 11-3M. Wow. So we're, even, we're, we're, we're like one state away, um, probably the same or a similar distance from even Four Roses itself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And we have entirely different, um, uh, you know, barrels. And, you know, and, you know, and they, the nice thing. probably spread it, or, you know, each barrel out across the country. But um, so this, this may be entirely different. Well, and, and also another thing to point out is that sometimes each barrel ages differently. That's, uh, again, oh, yeah. when, we, when, yeah. you're make, when you're making the regular bourbons, it blends... Uh, you have to blend it to get like the correct flavor profile uh -huh. um, because each age, because each barrel just ages differently. So right. I don't, I'm not sure how long these are aged for. It's like I could, uh, maybe I should just look at the, the, the help happy pamphlet thing that they gave us. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Well, um, it take, um, it uses five yeast strains with two mash bills to create 10 completely different bourbon recipes. Okay. Great. So, um, for this single barrel product, um, I, as in um, Brent Elliott, the master distiller, um, always hand select each barrel from the same recipe at the peak of its maturity for its robust and distinctive flavor. You'll notice the rich aromas of fruit, delicate flavors of apricot, pear, or, and, and pear balance perfectly with the notes of oak, light spice, and caramel. Each barrel yields about 180 bottles, so as I was talking about earlier. About, yeah. Um, you, know, so, you know, give or take, because there's a lot of evaporation and absorption as well. The, the um, angel share. I mean, we're you talking gotta, about... You got to give the angel that years, years, Many years yeah. um, that it takes to actually do this. Um, and then um, the exact aging and location are, you know, it, it also depends on the barrel. Um, yeah. So um, we, I like, got uh, mine might be a ten year. Brian's might be a seven year. Yeah. Who knows? Who but knows? Uh, but I guess uh, but so what they're doing is they probably dip in and, and taste it as they're going and like oh yeah yeah that's right pull it mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. which I didn't think that they did I didn't think they did that so I think that that yeah. so this might actually be pretty consistent uh, flavor right. wise because it, it, it might be it might be. Um, there will be, there will be some yeah. differences in subtlety because now we're 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 getting towards the more artisan version. Yeah. So um, you know this is you know and and also with uh, the thing with this too, there's more horsepower. Yeah, I think this one is hundred proof. Hundred proof. So we we've 100 been proof. going up up in uh, you know you get almost um, I'm floating our practically car, almost start your car with it. <laughs> Um, I'm floating practically, you know, so good. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's like, that's, that's just how this goes. So let's give it a shot here. Oh, we're, we're going to give it a shot. This is going to be delightful. So I'm also going to go and put it out there. Um, I am not an expert. Oh. I just like bourbon. And I think that's an, it's important for people to know before anybody starts flaming me in the comments or anything like, you're not an expert. And like, you're right. I'm not an expert, but I enjoy bourbon. And it's, it, yeah. it is my, Oh yeah. We didn't even do the color for the last yeah, one. We didn't oh. do the color. That's okay. Oh my goodness. A little, a little darker. And I think, you know, that's, that's because this has been aged a bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a little bit and, more oak to it. Um, 
I'm getting amber. Like you know, okay, so you know, like uh, Jurassic Park, the amber thing oh, yeah. on the top Absolutely. of it. On the, of the, of the, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it looks like right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just glad there's not like a weird mosquito in it. With, like, <laughs> dinosaur and, DNA. Uh, it's not going to produce, uh, you know, velociraptors or anything. I know. <laughs> like really, bro? Why they got to be yeah. that big? Get out of here! All right. Man. Okay, All right, smaller. let's try. Let's uh, let's okay, see what the nose let's, is. Let's smell. Ooh. So, let me let me give you stuff. Let me give you something. Okay. Cherry blossom. Hmm. Yeah, you do get kind of that like springy kind of feel from it. Mm-hmm. So, like so. But I I am definitely, and I think it's because I'm in a standard shot glass as opposed to the, you know, I'm trying yeah. to do this to avoid, um, you know, contamination on my yeah, end. Yeah. So um, I was fortunate <laughs> enough to have four uh, proper yeah. bourbon glasses. Um, well, we, I, we need to work on that. I, well, I guess your birthday's already passed. Mine's coming up, but no, I'll, mine buy, I'll buy you. Mine hasn't passed. I will Where's never, I will never allow, um, you know, myself to be older than I actually am. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bourbon i'm telling you bourbon yeah, yeah. is the elixir of, of youth i'm yes. telling you you're like nope so, no nope, yep. not aging no nope. no but either way when my birthday comes up i will send you a present for my birthday which is also more like we're gonna get a set of four of each for mm-hmm. each of us so that way we yep. can actually do proper tastings all the time there so, we go there we go okay speaking of tastings i think it's time my friend here we go cheers nostrovia Ooh. Very rich. Ooh, yes. Oh, I didn't even mention the legs. Like, this one is very viscous. Mm-hmm. Very, very viscous. Yeah, yeah, I would uh, agree with that. Oh, man. Oh, that's it. Um, remember that caramel yeah. apple I was talking about? Yeah, yeah. Th- this is... I definitely, but I, but I also, I, I get that kind of fruity, you know, fruity in the beginning. And, um, and then as, as you take it all in, um, you know, you get, you get that it's, I can't describe it any other way than that signature four roses spice. Yeah. Um, I think I'm a little bit closer on what the flavor of the caramel is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. You know, like the Brock's caramel. Yeah. Yeah, that's like that, but like a little bit burned. I don't know mm-hmm. how to explain it. Like you, you, you warm it up too much and like, oh, dang. And then you, you burn the caramel. <laughs> like that's, that's, yeah. Now I'm getting real crazy. But I think, it, I think that might be just a little bit of the barrel coming through along with the caramel right, that right. I'm like, oh, I get that. So um, right. I'm going to try and get this. this, this uh, Come on. And I get pear, but I get pear like the the skin of the pear. Right. No, that that's that's exactly right. It's very exactly it's very right. very subdued. It's not not the uh, not the inside. It's definitely the skin. Yeah. So, but I'm glad that I'm glad that we read the insert so we can be like. Mm-hmm. What you, right. what am I supposed to be tasting, boo? Oh, ice. ice cube time. Mm-hmm. Ice ice baby. Ding 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 ding. A little ding, bit ding. of ice. Ding 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 ding. ding. Oh no! Oh no! Swirl that, swirl that. Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the excess water off of the ice. Oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it's like mine. Mine's pretty melted too. Yeah. If we were really and and just for the audience, it's like if we were really being thorough, you do a round neat. You do a round with a couple drops of water, and you do a round with a rock. And, well, I can't do that. You know, <laughs> but, you know we'll, we'll we'll see how this goes. Well, um, yeah. But, uh, you like, know, yeah, it, we could definitely do that. But most people, most people, you know, I think we've got some entry level audience members. You know, we don't have the, yeah. uh, the, the I, really highbrow. <laughs> I, well, and, and, yeah, I know. I'm, and that's, that's actually who I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that would look at me and like, what are you talking about? You don't taste this. I'm like, no, because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just a standard mm-hmm. dude that just likes to lift heavy ass weight and eat a bunch of food and, and dance ballet and drink bourbon. Mm-hmm. Right. Ballet, bodybuilding, bourbon, and bacon. Fight me. 
<laughs> yeah, right. And just, you know, just general libation enthusiast. Yeah. So, you know. Well, even, like and, and even, if they, even if they're really good at tasting burger, it doesn't mean they don't know how to make cocktails. And that's my thing. Like, and that's, mm -hmm. again, so I'm taking this from a whole other perspective. Of like, how can I make a cocktail with this? Right. Or exactly. do I make a cocktail with this? Mm-hmm. Well, it's already going to tell you I wouldn't make a cocktail with the, with the single barrel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, but maybe a dash of bitters. Yes, yes, I would agree. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Now, with ice, with ice. Here we go. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. Oh, whoa. There it is. Whoa, yeah. that is entirely different. Yes. That is amazing. You know, so this one's a hundred and hundred and eight proof or something like that. And so your, yours is 108? I think I think so, or or a hundred. Is it a hundred? Mine, mine, mine is mine is only a hundred. So but Okay. I think but I'm it's okay if you Yeah, no, mine's a hundred. Mine's a hundred as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. So but, yeah. But um, go ahead. It but it really, I mean, you know, neat. It kind of, you know, you're like, whoa, I can start my car with that. Um, you know, it really does hit you in the face. But with a little bit of ice, this one completely changes. And it, and it is the smoothest of, of all we've had tonight. Of yes. All versions. Absolutely the smoothest. Any, any flavors that really pop out for you? It does have that initial, more of a fruity, you know, um, kind of flavor. Um, but then as you swallow, um, there's, there's more of that, that spice. So yeah. you kind of get that like sweet. Um, and then, um, yeah, I mean, and then just all three of them have that very distinct, four roses like you could almost blind test these and you would know it's four roses you know it's, it's just so you know that spice is so distinct for me you know because even yeah. compared to like a woodford or um jim or evan you know it's just like all these different types you know there's a, there's a very distinct um four roses spice which you know some people love and some people are just like that that hurts too much but it really it's it's quite nice um definitely fruity and uh, and, uh, and i remember that when we talked about it before we before we put the ice in i'd said it was like a pear peel mm -hmm. uh, like the, the peel yeah, of the, yeah. the outside of a pear yeah now i really get that juicy pear which is okay. i love pear i love pear mm -hmm. i really get that now and okay. yes, I fully agree on getting that spice. I really, I mean, so mm -hmm. they make a pear spice latte and you just add one ice cube and that's what, oh, so good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, um, this was, again, this was surprising. I haven't, I haven't had this on the rocks in, mm -hmm. I don't think I've had anything for roses in a long time. I think it's been like okay. 25 okay. years. So this is, this is why it's a revelation for me to have mm -hmm. it right now. Um, this is, I got it. I got more information. <laughs> yep, and I gotta finish finish this shot as well. That's glorious. Okay, so what? Uh, where, it's glorious, where, where do you it, where do you rate it? I will give this a four point two five. I will okay. give this a four point two five. Yeah, because one. okay. Well, okay, because it comes with that flavor, and it comes mm -hmm. with that with with again. Stays very true to what 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 they what they are about when it comes to making four roses uh, burger. Right, right. Mm -hmm. and, and and it's just that they stuck to their guns and it's like this is what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. And you know, you get that like and like I said, you can make something out of this. And I actually, I now that I've now that I've had it with ice again, it holds up with with ice. So okay, it makes yeah. it a little bit less. So I get actually so the small mm -hmm. batch I would have by itself, just hey, like have yep. a shot, let's have a or, you know mm -hmm. or. or yep. A shot and a half and sip it. But I think with the single barrel, I could actually make the top shelf like fancy cocktail if I really wanted to. Mm -hmm. But even mm -hmm. then, it's going to be like two to three ingredients, and that's it. Like let's, yeah. let's not yeah. let's not muck mm -hmm. around with trying to make. You know, you, you slap the basil and then you throw it away and then you right, make the drink. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just so I, so I say it. four point 
ship it. It's just um, sap it and throw it away because so you're not going to put it in the For me, I think um, if I were to stipulate on the rocks, um, I'm a, I'm a 4.5 on the single barrel or okay. on this particular one, you know, it's like, so again, single barrel, you know, you buy it next month, it might be a different experience. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of the, the nature of the beast, but that also what's makes it fun. Um, you know, cause it was just, it was so smooth, but still had a lot of subtlety and, um, it really, um, it was more of an experience with every sip um, than the other two, you know? So it really was like a tiered, you know, the beginning was very simple, you know, very straightforward. Second, you you had a little bit of something Something. going on there. And then this one was, whoa, you know, it's like there really was um, an experience from from the sniff all the way to the finish. You know, yeah. and um, that's that's kind of the nature of, you know, as they start to get more and more subtle, it really becomes more and more of an experience. And I would encourage those of you that are old enough and, and able um, to try this. Always drink responsibly. Always, always responsibly. There's going to be uh, lots of but, those going on while we're doing <laughs> you know, So we got to got to be very specific about that. But it, 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 it does um, become an experience. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it's quite amazing. And now that we've done that, yes. they actually had a special oh. batch select. Oh. What? So this one's even more special. Um, oh, my. oh my. So this one is actually, so what's different about this one, this was non-chill filtered. So it was straight out of the barrel as we were talking about earlier, yes. it's 104 proof. So we're, we're, we're at even more horsepower. So what they say about this one, it's another fine example of why our distillery is so unique. For this new bourbon, I selected three of our pri- uh, proprietary yeast strains <clears throat> and uh, yeast. both of our mash bills. So they have different, ye- this, you know, their own special yeast. And now this is a mingling of six, um, six and seven year old bourbons. Okay. And it's non chill filter to give a more straight from the barrel flavor. So this is probably going to be very rich. Um, is yeah. What, what I'm um, expecting. I didn't get a bottle of this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but so and it's a beautiful, beautiful package it is. and everything. Yes. This is a small batch. This is not a single barrel, but it is, it's like a small batch of the small batch. Well, uh, uh, here, here's another question. So, price-wise, so the, the the regular four roses was about twenty-two bucks. The mm-hmm. other one, uh, small batch, was about thirty-three. Single mm-hmm. barrel was about forty-two. How mm-hmm. much is that one right now that you, that you got in your hand? This one was sixty-four. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's spicy. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's spicy. So this is this is getting on the bougie side. Yeah, and so that's uh, that is a okay with me. <laughs> yes. No, it's okay with me too. It, it, it's, it's a matter, it's a matter of that. You have to figure out what you enjoy. And, and as we, and actually, as you're drinking that, I'm going to pour ourselves another, a little, a little bit of actually the, the single barrel. And I'm going to have it. Okay. I'm going to have it mm-hmm. neat, mm-hmm. but just so I can enjoy it with you. But then mm-hmm. we're going to talk about our top three uh, from mm-hmm. this. And I want, I want, I want to hear, I have a feeling you, you and I are going to be in the same idea of where we're going with oh, yeah. like what our what, 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 where we'd go with our top three definitely enjoy that but definitely yeah. give me that information okay so this one i think is looks. the darkest of Ooh, you know that looks of, yeah it's it's pretty dark um that's triple c thick is what it looks mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. yes like that thickness i'm trying to think that was on the nose because because we're 100 plus that you definitely just you get alcohol <laughs> yeah. on the nose, you know. And and I would actually venture to say that sometimes the overly alcoholic ones, sometimes they actually kills the flavor that you could actually be getting. Right. right. So I, so I kind of we'll, we'll see how it goes here. Yeah, yeah go for it. Whoa. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. What? So, honestly, <laughs> thoughts. Very yes. smooth. Very smooth. Okay. Of um, course. Except for, you know, just at the end, it kind of gives you a rush. Just a whew, You know, it's like, oh. it clears your sinuses. But in the beginning, like, like a, like a the whole thing, you, it's like you think you've, you've gone through it. You're just like, oh, wow, that's pretty good. Oh. Oh. But, but it's like, just a like, moment. Like the movie Backdraft. I, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh. Yeah. 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 It, it's exactly like that. But that's, that's really, those are sticky. Really good. I like those. Those are uh-huh. good. Uh-huh. Oh. Mm-hmm. So what you're trying to say is I'm coming to Indy and I'm having some of that and mm-hmm. I'm going to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's get some flavors. What do you got for flavors right now? So this one's definitely vanilla, not vanilla bean um, in the beginning. And then immediate rush, just that backdraft um, okay. spice. So it's, it's like almost you, overpowering. You it, it's oh yeah, it's very very powerful. Okay, okay. The spice. So this one's spicier. Um, you know, like after the fact, I'm. It's still it it stays with you. The burn. Um, so, but but it's the, it's the signature like four roses that spice that hits you in the oh, middle yeah, of the tongue yeah. that you're like this oh is, this is four roses. Mm-hmm. This is the most significant expression of that four roses spice oh, and in a good way, in a good way. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of depends on what, um, you know, what floats your boat. Um, Cause there are oh, some yeah. bourbons that you, you get that vanilla and it stays with you the whole time yeah. or that caramel, you know, it's, uh, but this, this one, this one makes a statement. <laughs> well, I love it. I love it. So now so. I just need to figure out how I'm going to get it here in Ohio. Right, right. It just happen. I mean, yeah, they only have one case. Um, at at uh, my particular uh, store, they only had one case. So, um, you yeah. know, I think I I got just one of the bottles from it. So they, I don't think they get it too often. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, it's quite quite an experience. This one. Yeah, I'm That's just gonna. Good. I don't have ice anymore, but I'm going to pour a little water in there. And see so, what. Well, yeah, I think, I think just a couple of drops of it will be perfect. So, so now we're getting super bougie and we don't have the droppers or anything, but yeah, we don't have the droppers, but I'm not, a, I'm not a scientist. I don't know anything about this. I just drink bourbon and I enjoy it, but I like to talk about it. And I think especially talking about it with a, with a, with a close friend of mine, I think is even better. Ooh. Well, so, so adding the water, adding the water, it, it really pulls out the vanilla. Um, and caramel kind of flavors. Um, and the rush, the backdraft, it's almost like they had a sprinkler system. So, <laughs> you know, it kind of takes that, um, takes that edge off. So, okay. um, you know, if you know that you don't like um, a really powerful um, kind of flavor like that, this really takes the edge off, just putting, putting a few drops of water in there. Um, because they didn't do that in the beginning. So it's like the, the, by nature of the way that they, they took it out of the barrel, yeah. uh, you know, they wanted it to have that more robust, powerful, rich flavor. So that's kind of the goal. So it's like, that's also like, what's your goal with this? So, yeah. Um, so they were yeah. intentional with creating that heat. And one yes. and the one that I have that heat. Exactly. Now the question the question that drives is, did you have a Kentucky hug on the first one? Oh yeah. Like did you oh, get yeah. did you get it down mm-hmm. here first? Okay. Did oh, you get yeah. it this time with did you get it this time with the ice? Not quite as much. It was but more of a uh, it was oh. more of a social distance stare. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I meant tugs. <laughs> yeah, no, rather than a uh, a firm uh, yeah. Kentucky hug. Um you know, so that's, that's, um, so significant difference, but okay. Yeah. Great experience. I can't wait to have that when I, when it, next time I get into, uh, mm-hmm. and come see you in Indy, by the way. Okay. So he's in Indianapolis. He also dances with the Indianapolis ballet. Uh, mm-hmm. he's one of the best dancers I know, especially in the Midwest. I'm going to, I'm going to put you over, man. You're, 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 I mean, seriously, you're, <laughs> I mean, I joke about being the you're best sweet. in the Midwest, but you, <laughs> you are the best in the Midwest of what you do. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. No, Brian. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. I, I'll, I'll be, I'll be the guy that's getting the, the licks beaten out of him. 
and I have to make the hot uh-huh. tag season uh-huh. come in and win. It's, it's fine. I mean, we're we're a tag team. <laughs> This time of more, we're going to do it. We're going to win. And, we have um, to win. And you're definitely but, one of the most loyal friends I've ever had. So there we go. That's what I'm talking about. See, yes. I mean, who else is going to jump on? Well, I need more bourbon. Sorry, I drank the other ones. Oh uh, well, yeah, there we go. I, 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 will, I will. I will suffer through the the small batch. <laughs> okay, so now so we got back as a bonus. Um, so how do we? You know, the way it ranked um, for me was. Um, Number, number three. three. Number three was the standard yellow label. Oh. Then um, the uh, small batch and then uh, single barrel for me. So, so, so I really like the, the single barrel the best. And that's not necessarily, you know, because it's more expensive. It's just more of a, ri- uh, of a rich experience. Um, the small batch um, select, um, you know, I think um if if we were at four i think i still like the single barrel battle better excuse me um but uh you know it's still it's just it's it it's such an outlier compared to the others so it's it's one of those like i don't really want to compare it to the others um but that's 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 where i land okay i'm gonna okay so actually i'm I'm completely off base so number three I'm going to give you the small batch. Okay. Okay. Number two will be the uh, uh, the regular, and okay. and number one is the single barrel. Yeah. And again, it's about the consistency of what they're going for with the flavor, and also yeah. what 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 their goal is. Yeah. Again, I'm still going to drink this hell out of the small batch. It's it's oh, fantastic, yeah. especially oh, for yeah. what it is. But yeah. I guess I, w- I was I was disappointed personally. In that, when I added ice, that I was like, "Oh, I don't, I don't know what to do with this." Um, right. But I knew that having, if I, if I wanted to go out and I needed bourbon, and mm-hmm. you know, everything in times are, and we are living through hard times, baby, hard times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you can get this one, and you're going to be oh, perfectly yeah. happy. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. that's why I gave this a number two. Um, okay. But again, th- this one, this one just blew me away. I thought, I thought this one. Um, it's and I didn't, I, mm-hmm. I didn't used to like it, but I think maybe mm-hmm. this barrel right here, I think it turned me back onto it, and I definitely need to get back into it. Um, I thought it was a, yeah, I thought this was a, a wonderful Excellent. bourbon. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to say. So number three, or was it a small batch? Not, I'm not saying that I, I hate it by any means. I love it, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I think in comparison to their standard stuff, and their, uh, which is number two, and then their their single barrel, I think that's number one. I think that's yeah. probably, I mean, that, that's the best summation that I could probably get out there. So I'm, I'm glad that we had like a differing thought process in that. But again, yeah, yeah. Again, yeah. But yeah. yeah. It's totally, totally, totally there. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, it's not like we're going into March Madness or anything and everybody's going to be <laughs> like, you're completely wrong about your bracket. Everyone's wrong about their bracket. Everyone's mm-hmm. wrong about their bracket. Just remember that. There's like one guy that takes the time to actually make a good bracket, and he's the only one that wins on his bracket. <laughs> and he's not even doing the work. He's just making up words. He's just making up numbers and stuff like that. But yeah. Then again, I, I, well, and uh, well, it, you're not a basketball fan, are you? I don't think you're a basketball. I mean, fan. I mean, I follow the Pacers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But but you, but you but you. I mean, you're a Hoosier. You're a, you yep. follow the Pacers, yep. but you're not like a. I need to see no, all. I, of I, well, I went to speaking of Hoosiers. I went to IU, and I never got to go to a single game because they were always sold out. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was there oh, for yeah. three and a half years, and I never managed to get to a game. Well, um, and, I, and I came, I came from NIU uh, in Illinois, and after I after I left school is when all of a sudden Northern Illinois University all of a sudden became like a huge football team uh, school. Right, I was right. like, <laughs> that would have been oh, fun. Boy. Oh boy! But you, okay, it's okay, it's great. But I think. Uh, Thank you, Chris. I'm going to give you the. I'm going to give you the outro. You're going to. You're going to hang along with me. You're going to. You're going to. You're going to get dance. You got to oh, dance yeah. for me while I'm doing it. So everybody. So this is number one <laughs> of the of the uh, campfires for Beast with Valley, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, if you love this type of thing, please put it down in the comments. If you have anything you want to say to me? Put it down in the comments. If you liked it, give me two thumbs. I'll take this one for sure. Uh, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. The button's going to show up down there. And please, please stay tuned because we're going to put out another one. It's going to be fantastic. I get to teach you a couple 
little simple cocktails that you can have to enjoy your Kentucky Derby. So again, Chris, thank you so much for joining along with this. This is a lot of fun. Um, no problem. I'm, I, clearly, I'm going to call. I'm going to call in the expert next time, and this is and whatever. We're, we're, I mean, hopefully, we just, next time we do this, hopefully right. it's going to be my birthday. Hopefully, you and I are going to be in the same room, and we're going to be oh, yeah, yeah. Four, four camera shoot. It's going to be full effects. <laughs> we're going to have pyrotechnics. It's going to be awesome. So. <laughs> yes, yes, especially the power. Right. <laughs> yes. All right. Love you, brother. Uh, stay with me, but love you, brother. Yep. Love you, sexy beast. Have a good one. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Where's this thing at? I don't have it. There we go. <laughs>